you all very much for coming. Today, this is just a little bit more about uh, having fun with clothes, mixing and matching the old with the new. And I think that's particularly appropriate in this shop because uh, John Fluvog has been using the past uh, as one of his inspirations for his designs. Oh. If you're long enough to remember, oh. in the early oh. mid 70s, it's the cloud coat because we see that the Art Deco beadwork is absolutely spectacular. Corey's greatest obsession in the fashion world is Comte des Garçons. Instead of having just tone on tone with black gussets, they appear they've gone crazy with these psychedelic colors. Our 30s look here. So dresses which are uh, soft, flowy, the waistline goes back to its natural level. You see the, the figure clearly but modestly defined. The shoulders become extremely exaggerated, which makes the waistline, which makes the waistline look really small. And then the little sort of hula skirt, a fringe around the hips, does the same thing, where it really does exaggerate the figure in a really fabulous way. A lot of the shoes are, are walking shoes rather than uh, for formal or evening wear. We're now up to the late 50s, earliest part of the 1960s. An illusion heel has the same width of a spike, but it's not high. Okay. Have a walk around. So by the 60s, the really hourglass shape starts to disappear. And I think there's a sense of comfort that's being re uh, introduced into clothing. The shoe speaks for itself. It is a traditional brogue with a, a wind tip to it there, but the colors are modern and eccentric. And that coat is dynamite. Oh my god. Look but look at the eccentricity. They remind me of Batman. Platform shoes appeared on the front cover of Harper's Bazaar first in April of 1936 as beach shoes. They wanted more glamorous, again, more sophisticated for an evening kind of an outfit here. Wonderful. So now after me talking about fur, we are using real fur here. This is also a lot. The coat belonged to Hola Negri. What? Hola Negri was a silent movie star in the earliest part of the 1920s and made a lot of very melodramatic movies. And she was at one time romantically linked with Rudolph Valentino. That collar is dynamite. And I picked it to go with the suit that Sophie was wearing earlier because it had that same smoke ring kind of collar. For those of you who haven't noticed, Angela is our tallest mom. <laughs> we can use this as a selling technique. <laughs>